Let's look at 2022 Leaving Cert Higher Level Paper 1 Deferred Question 4. And in this question here, we have the line L and the line C, and we're asked to get the points of intersection of them. You can clearly see here that the line L is linear and the line C is quadratic. So we're going to use a substitution method here, and we're going to take four steps in order to do it. The first step is we're going to rewrite the linear equation so that one variable is isolated. So I'm rewriting that as x equals 1 plus 3y. Then I'm going to take that 1 plus 3i and every time I see x in the quadratic, I'm going to change it to that. So I'm going to sub that in and that's what I'm working on as you can see me here. So I'm multiplying that in, working out all my brackets. I'm ending up with a quadratic equation with just y's and numbers, which is perfectly solvable for me. And that's what we end up with. We have 13y squared plus 6y equals 0 here. I'm going to factorise out the y. And I'm going to end up with y equals 0. And y equals minus 6 over 13. That was step 3 there, solving for the first variable. Step 4 then is going to be to take the information I found, those y values. And I'm going to sub them back in to the rearranged linear equation. And the reason I'm choosing the rearranged one is because it just makes our life a little bit easier. So I sub in my y equals 0, and I get 1. And I sub in my y equals minus 6 over 13, and I get minus 5 over 13. And I just pop those little points down at the bottom of the page there, so it's perfectly matched up. Now let's move on to part B. So part B, we are working on composite functions here. So we have g of x and h of x. Now g of x is actually not fully worked out or not fully simplified. You can do that now or you can do it while you're working it out. It doesn't really matter. So they want h g of x, which means I'm subbing in g of x for the x in the h function. So I'm writing that out here as we speak and I'm actually going to multiply it out bit by bit as I go along. They want their answer in the standard quadratic formula form. So that's what I'm doing. 10x squared minus 5x plus 22. It also says that my a, b and c must be integers. So I always keep an eye on that to make sure I'm on track with my work. And part C, this is another beauty of a composite function, but we're actually using our graphs here. So they're looking for kj of 2. So the first job I'm going to do is find out what the value of j of 2 is using its graph, and I find that it's 3. So now I'm looking for k of 3. So I use the graph of k to find it, and I end up getting an answer of 5. Happy days. Now remember, you should subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also you'll find me on TikTok. See you in the next one.